Yo, hello everyone! In 2023, we will provide a comprehensive comparison of PyHip and Gumroad. Discover which platform aligns better with your digital product selling needs, examining features, the pricing, and more to make an informed choice. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, here it is, the PyHub dashboard. Now, I will just compare two dashboards real quick. So here it is, the other dashboard. And here it is, the PyHub dashboard. The PyHub dashboard gives us a vibe that it is more organized. The colors chosen are pretty nice and very, very good. The shades are good. Uh, the chosen of the places and the grading is good as well. On the other side, here Gumroad is pretty dark. Uh, I, like, yeah, I don't feel like it is the best that they can come with. It is not the best place that they can come with. I think they can be do better. But anyway, the looks and etc. are not really what we are going to talk about in this video. We are going to talk about the performance of each one of these, what can they give us and what can they uh, provide for us. So let's start by creating a product and how does the process goes for PayHip. For PayHip, simply by going to this menu, click on products and click on add new products and this page shall be given instructions on how to create a product. They give you even the type of product that you're going for with logos to explain and with a little bit of description so you can know exactly what to go for. On the other hand, if I went here to products and I wrote new product, the same thing goes for them. Here, they give you the type, so you can choose either a digital product, customer tutorial, an ebook, newsletter, membership, podcast, physical goods, an audiobook. In general, both got a point in that. Now let's try to go and create a product in both of them. So here it is the page of the creation of the products in PayHip. It is very simple, an image, title, price, and the description. The same thing goes for this one. Give it a name and then a price. But that's not it. There's a next page where you are going to customize everything. So here, there's a bunch of options that you can go through that you might not find in the PayHip. Since PayHip is straight to go. There is the link, there's the title, image, description, and the visibility. There's also some kind of more advanced option, but that's, that is it. So here, the Gumroad has an advantage with its unlimited amount of options that you can go through before you actually create your own product. So here, this is it for products. Now let's go for store and see how we can actually design our store. So let's go to home and here, as you can see, let's say that you are new here. How can you actually find your store? Now, now for me, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know where to go, what to do, uh, where is my store, where is my website. Uh, but since I, I've been using this for a while, I, I can provide a way to find my store. Like so, like this is my store, this is how to get into it. But yeah, for, for them, you don't really have the option. For, for Gamera, you don't really have the option over here. How can you get to your store? How can you open it? This is not something that you should struggle to find. Which is a downside point for Gumroad and it is an upside point for PayHip. Now let's go for upgraded plan. So here if I want to upgrade my plan, let's go to my profile. And here subscribe or something like that. Here for the product, here let's edit the profile. And let's try to go to advanced. And as you may notice, there is nothing that actually give us uh, any information about upgrading our our account. If I want to come out, here we go, plans and pricings, they do actually have plans. So you have to actually s buy something from them. But if you want your account, nothing is over here. On the other hand, 
if I went here and I went to my account to settings and I went to anywhere here we will find the billing and invoices and here you can actually find the plan with the features and with the price so yeah I don't know you guys decide which one is better which one is more organized which one is more better in giving us what you are looking for you want something here it is you want that here is it you want you don't want this remove it but in Gamera, this is pretty like a maze for me. I don't really get it how they're actually making this website. And what is their designer group making? It is just very, very ugly looking website. That's, I'm not lying guys, but it is not helping us at all. Let's go and try to go for something else. Do they help you with your promotion or you're making your website go wider well for camera unfortunately you don't have this option but imagine what payhip gives you if you want to marketing they even give you your own affiliate links you can make your own affiliate program and share it with your friends your friends will set will register into it you can through this menu accept and decline anyone and if you accepted them, you will give them a commission. You choose the duration, or you can choose a fixed uh, amount, and you will be paying them each time someone buys through the links. But in here, on the other side, <laughs> Gamera just fails once more in front of Payhip. Now, let's go and check the audience. Here we have customers, and let's check. So, here Start selling today. There is only customers and subscribers, so you have only two uh, lists. But on the other hand, here we have customers, we have subscribers, we have email updates, we have followers, and we have sales reports. We have five different menus in the audience section, so you can get everything you'd like from the orders. Here, the customer has bought something you will find literally everything about it you will have his email updated in the email update we can here add emails and these emails you can actually use them guys in marketing not the affiliates but in another thing which is mailing list in here we can add all the emails that you have from your customers in here and drag them to another uh, app you can just connect the api through here and they will be connected and you can start creating campaigns and then them newsletters and then them discounts and just making a marketing for your own store and as a point i give it again for payhip and yeah guys this was a very very in general point of view i hope you guys like this video i really like payhip because of its design how it looks what it provides and all its features are much better than gamroad so Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.